about the word we're going to use. Pause. Let's have a pause and a cause. A pause and a cause. Pause and a pause. Pause and a pause. Right. Your lights are off, but your video is on. It's clean. Light. Light. Where's my pliers? Pair of pliers. Yep. She so came back too soon, so you got to see the room. It's some putting parts away. Pair of pliers. These came from the drawer over here somewhere. Yep. That's it. That'll work. If it isn't it, it's going to be close enough. Okay. okay. We're not using this right now either, so we're going to put this back over here. I don't know where this came from. And that's he's got a set of them just right there. Perfect. We're gonna need those. Put away. You like how I did that? All right. I need some room to work. <sighs> okay. They like rags. I put rags down. Like I did that. I like you guys. <laughs> All right. A new oil pump. Oil pump. New oil. What kind of oil pump is this? Daytona. There you go. Ooh, Ooh, hey, you got brand new ones. Okay, we don't need these no more. Throw them in the pan. No, I already cleaned these. Go over there. Okay, anything else in here? Instructions? Underwear? No. Phone? No. Junk. Instructions? Junk. Junk. Screws. Now these screws nice. are probably longer than stock, that's why they give them to you. Mm. Look at that, they look like they're stainless. I hope they're not, because I hate stainless. Where's one I threw away? What's the difference? They are longer. They are longer. Where's the washer? The light went away. No washer? Oh, cheap bastards. These don't come off. Okay, no washers. We're going to wash. <laughs> we don't need no stinking washer. This is not sealing compound. You're not supposed to put this in the motor. Mm -hmm. What's nice about this pump is, see those wear marks right there? Yeah. From those nasty gears over there? Oh, yeah. Oh, they got a whole plate then. Got a wear plate. Gears don't run on the plate no more. Nice. So if this is damaged, you can JB weld it, smooth it out, and then put this on there, it'll be perfect. Sweet. Save a can plate. Sweet. Why are you taking it apart? What the? Seriously? Oh, where's all this stuff go? What the hell, man? Oh, jeez. Who did that? I'm confused. I don't know what you're doing. You're foosed. Confused. Oh, confused. Confused. Look at these big nasty gears. Footings. Oh, wow. Dang. That's a big improvement. Wow. Dang. Sticker too. That's why the bolts are longer. Mm. <laughs> Dang. Cast pump. No that billet crap you don't need. Just got the important stuff. Big ass gears and a nice wear plate. Wow. When the pump's bad, the wear plate's bad. Cover's still good. Yeah. Amazing how that works. Okay, what do we got for assembly lube? As a lube. Look, is there any lube in this place? Need some assembly lube. Probably got none around here. Man, we probably we missed out using it. Boss is not here, so we're working on really in the bad now. I'm gonna shut this off then and we'll come back. Okay. We're coming back. All right, Fred did it. I did it. It's he my did fault. It. He found it. It's always my fault. I was just gonna use some 70 weight engine oil, Maxima. That's good thick oil, but Fred, he actually uh, found some uh, assembly lube engine. It kind of looks look like a uh, Torco, but it's got a different name on it. Okay, we're going to try this one out. Oh, Why did I take this pump apart anyway? So you can lube it. Oh, so I can lube it. Lube it. Oh, that, this looks brand new. It's never been used. Oh. Never. Does it still have the seal on the cap? These you don't seal the inside of these things. Oh, yeah. these, these guys do. I'm good, man. These guys do. You've Torco. been like, Why won't this come out? Well, I would have figured it out pretty quickly. <laughs> I wonder if I could sit on this thing. No. Hmm? No. No? That is definitely not Torco. That is something else. A bit of similar. <laughs> Too stringy. You want the captain's chair or you want something? Tall? No. No, I'm just fine. 
Oh. Okay. We don't have the dogs here today, so we got the captain chairs available. Man, make some noise. Make some noise. Okay. Restart the video. This is assembly loop. Let me, let me start again. No. They'll have to live with the fast last <sighs> five minutes. This stuff's pre-planned, uh, definitely. Yep. That is definitely not terrible. Oh. Don't get no grease on me. We don't need stringy ass assembly loop to work. I don't like that. It, like looks, it? it looks like the real stuff, but it just is not the same. Has it just thing. been sitting around too long or what? <laughs> it's oil. How could it be sitting too long? I don't know. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it went bad, so never being used. It's lack of use. Yeah, that's like a little crunchy there. We're dragging it sideways in the hole. <laughs> It'll do that. So this is the, <laughs> shit. the important part of the gear is this. <laughs> Good this on. is the part that pumps oil. If you have it, if you have a bunch of air in there, it might not ever pump oil until it gets oil in there. But you can't get oil in there; it gets full of air. Damn, this stuff is terrible. This stuff's crap. <laughs> Hope it works. Boom. Okay, now we have to get this lined up. So don't forget. You lined it up. <laughs> Like having a giant booger yeah. go away. <laughs> Good booger. Don't have to deal with it. Don't forget the O-ring; it might leak. Okay, which one goes next? Why did two O-rings fall? Oh, one on either side. Perfect. I'm gonna guess the steel plate goes next because it's probably needs it. Mm. I'm guessing it goes this way. Sweet. Well, maybe do that hole too. Yep. It has nice dowels and line everything. It's good. Harley doesn't like using dowels for anything. Yeah, this is actually a pump housing here. You got to put a ring in. I'm missing a ring. Another one? Yep. Well, that one was hit. I didn't see it. I told you. I, just, I said something about it a second ago. I mean, you well, got you two O rings. Well, I saw there was two, but I didn't see where it went yet. Let's see, that's why you had me. It's a good thing you're here. Good thing you weren't sleeping. <sighs> I'm sleeping and more drunk. Yeah. That was yesterday. <laughs> so, it's only didn't work yesterday. Someone was drunk. I sit down. <laughs> Breaks out shots of cognac and other assorted. It's pretty bad. I'm in the casino and the guy comes by and says, What are you doing here? There's something wrong with you? Because <laughs> I'm not moving. Yeah. No. I'm watching them. They're over there all drunk. And oh, did somebody walk up to you? Yeah, the security guy. I told what you are you that. doing here? Well, you were drunk. Yeah, I told you that. I was it drunk. You were drunk. drunk. You were drunk. Oh, nicely buzzed. Yeah. I was a designated driver. <laughs> yep. Definitely a designated driver. It was a fun evening. Walked away with more than I came with, so. Didn't lose money until you had to fill the gas tank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that took me down a hundred bucks. It's hard to believe, but Vegas is more expensive for gas than San Diego. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, we didn't pick the correct gas station. That's a problem right here. You see that? Gooey crap. Okay, I gotta make sure you I'll make sure you line these gears up so the crank it will go on the crank. Yeah. And then the plate, you wanna explain that? You didn't explain it? Wear plate. Wear plate. It wears. Sacrificial piece. Save the cam plate. And you have pins to line it up? Yep. We don't have this one pin up. Higher than the other one. Can you push it down too far? Mm -hmm. Precision machinery. Boom. Ouch. Perfect. Get the booger off your hand. It's more booger. It's like you had it up the other end. Ooh. Ouch. All right, let's go see if it fits the crank. I'm going this way. Spinning around. It goes in like this, but for this application, we're just going to stick it in like this. See if mm -hmm. it fits in there. See, okay, I have them lined up. Yeah. So as long as they're lined up, we just have to, it'll, it'll slip on how we want it to be. But right now, it doesn't line up for the squat, so we're going to stick it in here somehow. We're going to have to rotate this because I can't turn the motor over very easy. Mm -hmm. Someone didn't took the jack out. 
Maybe we should put the jack back in. Turn them that over. jack in? It might be easier to do that than do this other thing. Yeah, I think it will. And we'll put this back on here like this. Here we go. That's lined up now. Okay, we know that's lined up. This is some really yuck. Yeah, terrible, sticky crap. See, it goes in like this. So we can see how we're almost vertical? Yeah. So we can rotate so it's vertical. So do you want me to lift the back end up? No, I think I just turned it with a little crust wrench. I had those Kripnik flowers, I could use those, but oh well. Where's the crust wrench? In the, the crust wrench three? Hole? No. Hell. Close. Ooh, big tool. Nope. Definitely not there. Put down. No. Oh, we're getting close now. On the workbench? Under the bike? Well, pull that one back out again. You know, it's probably in there. Right there on the right, right side. No, right side. Right side. Left side. Center. Do we like drop forge or cobalt? This has a safety handle on it, so I don't like it. <laughs> Why is it in gear? I don't know. Maybe I should take it out of gear? Here we go. Put that in gear for it. There's a big crank in there, too. That should be neutral there. All right, we're close enough. You know, I got to figure exactly where we're at. Okay, so when you put that on there like that, I'm going to go rotate about 10 degrees forward. Oop, that's not 10 degrees. <laughs> I think we're close. Close enough. Do not forget to put that O-ring in there. Do not forget to put that O-ring in there? Yeah, see that one right there? Yeah. Why not? Might not pump very well. You might have a massive oil or something to shoot. <laughs> Where's that O-ring at? I don't know. Probably in the uh, lower end oil ring kit. Yeah, there we go. That does not look like the oil ring I'm looking for. No. <coughs> not those ones. Hmm. That, one. that looks better. Cam plate, ooh. And it came all over my counter. That's probably a cam plate o ring kit. Uh, and you already put the two o rings in. Yeah, that doesn't look like the right o ring either. Where's the correct o ring? So those do not look like the right o ring. Looks like the same thin ass o ring that was over here. Is it thick o ring then? It's a push rod cover o ring, same one. Those do not look like the right ones. There's that. That goes in here. No. Aha! There we go. Big fat one. Yep. Big fat one. It's the same as the upper push rod o ring. Same o ring. It might have a different part number, but the same old ring. But I think it has the same number. Big fatty. Yep, push rod cover old ring. It goes right around that. Hmm, nice. So go in there and it probably will never hit the case. You put it inside the case and you push this into the case. Then it will seal. Got that? What's that then? Put it in the case first? If you put it on here. Yeah. When you push it all the way in, it might not go inside the case. It might just hit up against the side of it, so it okay. might leak. So if you put it inside the case... That's what you're going to do there. <clears throat> when you push the oil pump into the case, it'll go and insert in that. And it'll work. So it's a 
like that. Hmm. Okay, we're back. Stick a little loop over here. So she slips and slides easier. Yep. Yeah, should be good. Okay, now we got two other O rings there. What are those? Two other O rings? Yeah, over here. You see my mouse of white? Did you see those two O rings? Need to move speaker. What was that? Oh, it sounds like a grumbling stomach. I already ate. Maybe that's the problem. <sighs> okay, so we got a big one and a small one. Nope, they look the same. Mm. But they're fat, just like the push rack cover. I'll wait here till you come back. What if I can't come back? I can't find them. I think you're in the same. Yeah, I think it's the same ones in the same pack. Yeah. Except these ones are brown. The color of those ones. Oh, brown. brown too. Color coded. Look, they gave you an extra one just in case you lost one. Look at that. An extra one. Might fit somewhere else on the bike then. Who knows? Oh, there's two more in there. So that might be the one that goes between the case and you tighten it up also. Perfect. Okay, these look the same? Yep. Look at they fit. Amazing. Okay. Now, as long as you got some lube on there so they stay put, they'll stay in there. Because that one's a little loose down there. Let's put some lube on it. Two dowels. We don't have to lubricate that because it doesn't do anything. That already had lube on it because I put some on it. Mm hmm. <coughs> How about putting some lube on the. Let's see, gas, just exhaust gas, it might leak. Just put some lube on the lube, needle lube. bearings. You want to lube what? Needle bearings. Needle bearings. Let me leave them there. How about the crank snout? Should we lubricate that? That'd be alright. You mean those things up over there? Yeah. Well, they feel like they've got something in there. Yeah, but well, just as a precaution. You know what? I got blue on my finger now. I did it out of order. Go inside first, then outside. That's the secret. Otherwise, you get gooed. I got gooed. <coughs> It'll have to just work it by itself. So is this a big improvement cam or stock? Do I do anything stock around here? No. Uh, this is um, something my old Andrews. Hmm? Did you read the box? I read the box. I read the box. Where's the box? Up there. Something maybe I forget. You can get blue on your finger. I'll put the box like that, and you can blow up into it and see it. EV37. That is the hotter version of a of a 32 or one or some of those numbers even now. Nice. You know, if you blow it up with the camera, it's a lot better than you run on top of it. Remember what I told you about being too close? Oh, you mean to zoom in? You're talking about? Yeah, you can zoom in, but it's fine. There we Dad figured out by now. It's too late. I. Totally agree. Okay, now I'm going to take this pump and we're going to stick it on that cover. I don't have to lubricate this because it's already lubed because it's lubed on the inside. Now the snap goes in the bottom corner. Like that. And your new bolts. screws? The missing bolts. Mm -hmm. Right there. With no washers. See how much threads in there? Almost three eighths of an inch. Yeah, that's nice. So I mean, that's good. Any kind of an Allen around here somewhere? That's the right side? I don't know. Is it an Allen? Yep, yeah, that's the right side. That one doesn't work. 
got a problem. What? Somebody put that cam gear on there. The car guy's gonna say, oh, let's put some shims around there and center it up before you torque it down. Mm hmm. That way the rotors get centered in the housing so they eat up. Yeah. They gotta tell you to do that. You know what the problem is? Why? You can't do that on our <laughs> It's on the inside. Yeah. How to get the shit back out. Yeah. <laughs> Shell, look. You got what you got. So what we do is we tighten them up a little bit. Very, just barely touch them. Turn them over three or four times and tighten down a little bit each, each time. Yeah. And then you get what you get. Problem is gears in the way. You can't put the bolt in. That's not going to work. It's not going to work. We don't need it. Mm hmm. Okay. We're going to take this back off. Use your fancy. Now, you didn't like how I did that last time, so we're going to have to do it better. Hey.